Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson, Craft Creations by Kathy. I'm going to make a centerpiece. I know you've seen me do these like hat type style centerpieces um, where I have an old can. I believe it's usually like whole tomatoes that I get, but we're going to make a fall version. Um, I've already painted my round. I think it's like six and three quarter round and I'm going to use some blue jeans. So we're going to kind of make it fall. You know, maybe I was going to say scarecrowish, but I probably won't. We'll probably just use the blue jeans. And then I have these fall pretty flowers. I actually bought them last year because I meant to make this last year. Got them from Hobby Lobby. And I got these little wispy things. So we'll probably put those so they'll hang over the edge. Those are also from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then our styrofoam I got from the Dollar Tree, which we will end up putting inside. But I basically want to work on our can and cutting our blue jeans. So I just had a pair of blue jeans that didn't fit anymore. It's a nice dark color. I found, um, I believe it was probably navy. And normally I will put the jeans going this way in the leg, but I think I'm going to... Because I didn't really like, I was looking at the seam here, and it has this line. I don't know if you can see it from where the um, bottom of the pant leg was. And I was going to use that because I figured that was nice and even. I could just use that to the bottom. But I didn't like that, and I don't really like um, the seam and then this seam. So I didn't really like that. So I think I'm just going to cut my leg... Just cut it off, maybe. I have my fabric scissors. And then this should wrap around. Oh, I'll probably cut it too small. Because then I just want to fold it and give it a little, a little edge. So I do have some quilt batting already cut. I believe to size so I'm just gonna cut this jeans right at the seam and then we'll figure out where I need to cut it next goes off to the side so basically I'm just gonna roll it around and I want to cut this off as well I'm gonna cut it as close as I can to this hem and like I said, hopefully I didn't cut it too short, but I got more, more to go. So then I would just kind of fold it under because I do kind of want to get at least a good, a good fold. And I've never, usually I um, usually run the fabric or whatever I'm using to the bottom of the can like right to the bottom edge. And I'm thinking this time I may try to tuck it under a little. I haven't done that before in the past um, because the only thing you have is this really skinny lip to um, glue to your base. So I'm just gonna take the seam of the can and like I said, I already got my quilt Quilt batting, cut. Now the can will get hot with the glue gun. So we're just gonna roll it. Just stick it on there. I don't want it to go over, but I don't want it to be too short. I am just, like I said, I am just gluing that. Then I'm going to cut it so it just meets together in the back. I'm trim it up just a little bit more. Not much. There. 
Then we'll get the glue so it goes right up to that other one. And always when you're working with your hot glue, be careful because this batting obviously isn't very thick. Okay, we're going to want to put the seams together. So I'm going to stick some glue right there at the seam. I'm going to bring this up. Be careful with using hot glue. Lily, right on cue. She's in all my videos, isn't she? I think I say that every time. Puppy's actually outside, so I don't know what she's barking about. So remember, I'm gonna overlap it a little and just be careful because I can feel the glue through the jeans. I think I told you before, we have a spare bedroom right above my craft room down here and she can jump on the bed and look out the window with ease. been mad today nobody's really wanted to play with her her foster mom came over and saw her today and she helped by trimming her nails so I think I'm going to we're gonna overlap because I do kind of want a little bit of a seam because I don't want the rough edge So we've got, we got Lily when she was a baby. Um, she was surrendered to our vet. She was dehydrated. And the all previous owners, who I think were breeders, tried to inject her themselves with fluid. And um, her skin started fluffing off, sloughing off, so. When she got healthy, they were looking for a family, and we had two boy dogs, and we said, hey, we need a, they think they need a sister. So we were actually able to get her. So she's been through a lot, but we've had her, I think she's eight now, so we've had her for a long time. So I'm just gonna fold over this edge get my seam in there and then that way all the seams are in the back so then I'm so this way the jean material goes sideways instead of up and down so then all, you, all we're going to do, we will tuck that in. You know, I may have to cut that off a little bit. But we will tuck it in. Then when we stick this in there, you won't be able to see that. You might see it a little bit. Like I said, we'll have to probably trim that down a little because that probably is a little much. But let's work on the bottom. And remember, it will be hot. I should put it right on the edge. I actually was watching a video and I was gonna get a fine tip glue gun and a video I watched, she said Walmart has them. So I looked it up, mine actually has them. So it's a detailed tip, it was like $10. So I'm going to probably get one of those so that will help with any fine detail that I need
I'm gonna have to put a lot of glue right where that seam is. My thought is maybe this would help hold this to the wood round better. And just, you know, pretty up your, your edges, smooth them out, because so you don't really see the puckers where this is folded. I'm gonna have to stick a little bit of glue in there. Hold it a little bit. But I think it was like a high temp, so I really have to watch my fingers on that one. I think this is what I have is like a low temp. And that burns. Maybe it's not. We just have one little pucker here. I think the others we can kind of get smoothed out. So if I push it more from the bottom side going over the edge, that might help get puckers out. Here's gonna be one. Like I said, I didn't know if this was going to work doing it this way or not. I don't know if that will help hold it down. It is going to keep... So, I usually like to put like a ribbon or something around the bottom. So it will hide your puckers. try to work this around if I have to peel it off and kind of start over a little bit in each section I can do that I just want to make sure I get a good a good base because I'm going to E6000, and like I said, the only place that this can touches is right here on the edge. Trying to work these puckers out. See, and with the hot glue just pulling up right on the can from the can, I'm just kind of thinking that might be what happens if I get the E6000 on the jeans, will it just pull right up? I probably just need to let it sit and dry a little more than I am. I don't know if we could E6000 like a base. Maybe if I have a smaller round. You know, if I can E6000 it to the middle here, maybe it'll help when I go to I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. So I do think we need to cut this just a hair. So I'm probably going to leave maybe an inch overhang. You could always, you know, fold this under and tuck it in and you'll have a nice edge. But I think once we tuck this in and you get your floral foam in there and we'll put moss in there. 
that uh, I don't think we'll have a problem. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the jeans and fold it down over the edge. Oops, and glue the table. So again, here you want like a nice, you should wait till glue dries and it like picks right off, but we don't want it to get on our jeans, right? Which I think I have some squiggly lines here. So again, I'm just putting some glue on the jeans folding it over. You can use any kind of fabric that you have. I've done the black and white. I did like a snowman theme. Um, I did the um, sugar skulls. I used fabric on that. Let's see if I can get this tucked in. Kind of like pulling it in. I got a picker here. Just trying to undo it. Spread the jeans out a little bit. Like I said, I think at the top it's going to be hidden by our um, arrangement, anyways. Just going to this little flap. I'm just going to try to get this flap glued down. And that's what I'm afraid of if I, since I did it this way, usually, like I said, I'll put usually a nice edge on it and I just usually edge it right to the bottom of the can. This is the first time I put stuff on the bottom. So I'm going to go see if I can find a piece of wood that I can E6000 it onto here and then we'll be able to, and plus it'll hide all this stuff too, and then E6000 that. So let me see if I can go find something. Okay, the only thing I found was this piece here, but if I would put that down, now you, I don't know if you can see, now you can see that in there. So I'm just going to try an E6000 this edge, then we're going to put it down. I got some beads and stuff. We're just going to put it down and let it sit up overnight, and we will see if it doesn't. And then I bought this E6000, so it does not even have a tip. It has this thing. So I don't know why I got this one. So I'm gonna put it around. So I'm going just to the inside of that lip. Cause like I said, the inside doesn't even touch. I thought maybe if I had uh, I'm just to glue that. I don't think I need that anymore. I'm just trying to think. I like to kind of get some right on that lip, but I don't want it to come over, if you know what I mean. Because then we're going to have a mess, and then we will have to put ribbon 
or something on the bottom. I'll do all that. Maybe the glue strings will all start all the jean strings will stay all in. Okay, so based on how I I knew I didn't want this side because there was holes right there. And then um, think about where I want my hat based on where my seam is. And then we're just going to try to center it and pull it toward me so I can see. Looks like it's centered. And I'm just going to put some weight on it. Um, like I said, I got some beads here. Put anything I can. Um, to put weight in it, I'll probably go get some more beads um, just so that will set up so none of the glue came out. So that's good. We just have to hope that the glue will be enough to hold the can to the wood round. So I'm going to shut this part of the video off and I will be back in... 12 hours okay it's the next day um, here is my hat all glued um, I did have to get a detailed tip of the E6000 um, and add a little bit this morning and then I really don't like this little thing here but I'm going to do a different angle so you guys can see me decorating I got my pick machine um, these little wispy things I did pick the bottoms of that so all the machine does it has one of these and then it crunches it around the bottom of the wispies so remember I got this from Dollar Tree I did cut it so it's just gonna slide right in there I have some Spanish moss. It's probably a little too much. So we got some Spanish moss. I'm gonna stick down. I should glue this first though, huh? Got my glue gun plugged in. I don't know if it's hot enough. I just dab a little glue in there and try to hold that um, where I folded it. Try to hold that down. We'll stick our Spanish moss in. I got some U picks. So this is what I have. It's a U pick. This will help hold the Spanish moss into the styrofoam. Plus your picks will um, help hold that down. But I just kind of wanted to get something in there so you don't see the green. And your Spanish moss always makes a mess. I have my little pen because I have tried to reach to turn my phone on, the record on my phone. Usually it's the overhead shot, but I was thinking you guys wouldn't uh, see very well putting um, a centerpiece together. You know, some of these things. So I did, I did find these. I had in my stash. I have a couple of these I got last year Hobby Lobby, probably on clearance or something. Um, I did pick up this one as well that was in my stash. And then I had this. I, so I don't know if we wanna put like a sunflower or something, you know, maybe on the front. So I'm always keep the back to the back. So I did cut a lot of my picks up. Um, I'm picking one of the, these ones that is like the fullest and we're just going to stick it in the center. You know, depending on how how you know how tall you want your arrangement to be. Can you see that? And then we will just start. You know, I got different. I think that's more like a mum. Maybe this is like a peonies. A little sunflower and then bigger sunflowers you know so we will do that and with them being on um, the picks 
so it's bendable so I kind of want to like kind of come down at an angle this one might be too long just have your these ones I am NOT picking you can even leave some greens at the bottom so that will help fill it up um, and even some greens at the top so I'm just gonna go around and Fill it up. I just cut them all long just to be at first. Um, like I said, I'm just picking some. We can actually, if we want, um, I don't know how far the wispies will go. Stick up. Oh, there's a wispy. Can you see that over there? My pick machine is kind of in the way. You can't see the background. This is my white wall. I take my pictures on it. We could even cut a bigger piece. And let me, I'm going to pull some of these wispies off the bottom. Maybe. The other one I had a hard time getting the first one off too. There. You know, and then we can just have a, a little bundle of them. Let me if I take that one down, how many that leaves. You know, maybe we want this up in here instead. You know, and then we got like a lot of wispies up there. And then I don't have to do them one by one. So you, we're just gonna go around, fill it in. You know, bend them out. Just trying to kind of stagger them. You just want like a nice pretty arrangement. So now that I got a lot of wispies over there, I should put more wispies over on this side, huh? So the flowers I got both from Hobby Lobby um, last year. I think that's why there's a little lip on that. That's probably why it didn't come off. I'm just gonna pull all these wispies off so we can get some more wispies up there on this side. If you want to pull some of them up, pull some of them up. If it looks like we're too too bare in here, you know, we can always push that center one down a little. But you just kind of keep going around until um, it's how you like it. How full you want it. I'm going to have glue string there. Make my faces, pushing this stuff in. And we can stick some wispies over here. Like I said, you know, I kind of want some to come maybe out a little. The bottom. So you kind of really want your center pieces to be. Um, pretty on all sides. 
obviously. Put this one here because this is the same flowers. That one there. You know, you're just going to put them in different heights. How is that looking? Um, I even have some ribbon. I don't know. You know, we could always throw a bow in there. I should look for some plain ribbon. This was kind of a big flower. We're going to put this one in. What else do we have on this pick? Just kind of looking more for some smaller ones since I want that big one to be more of my choice. Directions. We'll do this one over here. Oh, we did say we want to do like a pumpkin. I should put the pumpkin in that big bare spot, huh? Let's do that. Um, I'm sure I got these. These are at Hobby Lobby. And I'm sure I got them either at the end of the season last year or when it was 40% off. All I'm trying to do is pick off this tag. So it's kind of like weird shaped. It's kind of got an opening. So I'm going to stick that opening. Pumpkin. You know, maybe I can even do this pumpkin more up here, just so we can count, kind of counter it, one side to the other side. Hopefully, I'm talking loud enough. Sometimes I scream. I feel like I scream in my videos, and other times I don't feel like I talk loud enough. But my phone's over there, so. Hoping you can see what I'm doing. So we can kind of put this one maybe, you know, instead of almost do I want to pick this? Let's see. I don't know if this will give me any more length. If I can get to it. So that just gave me, you know, about an inch more. Let's see. stick it up in there I can still feel the sticky of the so that kind of gives me a pumpkin you know on one side and then a pumpkin over there so just turn it around it looks like it's I need more whimsy wispy things I think I need more wispy things down a little more and bend. I feel like I'm empty right in here and then I feel like I'm empty in here. So and, and there it goes. Well, like I said, maybe I won't need anything on the um, well, it feels like it's coming off the head of the Turn this around. I feel like I have all three similar flowers all right there together. Can't say I like that. So I have a little, a little mum looking one. I don't know, you just can't really say I know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, I fill it till I think it's full and and I like it. 
and I don't want it to be bare on all the sides. But I'm, I just think it's different, you know, having the blue jeans. Oh, I really kind of like the idea of putting a flower down here. Or even have this little pumpkin. I could put a pumpkin down there. I kind of was going to do a sunflower. I don't know if I do a sunflower down here. So... Let's get some more of these wispy things in. I think we're missing, missing some wispies. I'm trying to, don't want to push it through. I got leaves right here. So like I said, the, the leaves are gonna help hide the bottom. Need some wispies in here. These we see. Let's see. Spin it around. I need a lot more wispies. I think I need like a big section of wispies again. Like I did. I think I almost need a bigger set in here. I move those over there with that group. And then maybe I'll get another set of wispies right there. So I got a little individual wispies, but So this is what the pick machine is. You uh, do it forward to release the pick, and it's heavy. It's heavy, and then and then you uh, do it the opposite way to squish them. Just tangle my wispies. I don't know, I'm just filling it to, I don't know, I feel like now I'm going to bear over here with this piece. <laughs> so, put this back, oh, there's one here on a pick. So I have some coming out forward to release, back to scrunch it. I said I'm no expert at this I just like I said I just kind of fill it in you know till I like it and then some has too many wispies. You can glue all your picks in. Um, I don't really think there's a need to do that.
spin it around. I got too many wispies. Still feel like I could use something right in there. Both of those flowers do I have a smaller sunflower? I got one with this stuff on it. And some of my wispies I didn't poke down very far so I can see them. Um, if you have a thimble, a thimble will help um, push your picks down. Freaking. your wispies out, the ones that we left on the pit. Yes? So I'm just turning it around, seeing how I like it. It's super full. I still think we need something down here. I don't know. Do I want to put a sunflower down here? You know, I could put a pumpkin down here and a sunflower. I'm just trying to fill where my back is. My back is over there. Instead, just trying to feel like, just feel like I need something down on the base. You know, almost like it fell over. Sunflower. I can do my drag to fab, right? Put two of them together. Let me see about doing that. So, if you didn't know, what you can do is take your sunflowers apart. So they each had two, two layers of petals. So all I'm going to do, oops, let's just stick a little hot glue. I'm going to make this kind of turn it so it kind of goes every other one. I'm going to pull these off. And then I'm going to stick a little bit of glue here, again, just so it holds the petals down. We're going to stick this right on top, and again, we're going to try to make it go um, through the petals again. And then this last one, the same. 
So see now that's like super full than what these ones were. So I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue on the post. So then when I slide my back on, it should grab it. And then there we have a prettier flower fuller. So it's got four sets of petals. And then when I put that down there, that fills it up way more. So it's gonna touch like there and at the top. You see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna put it like this in the front. So it's heating at the base. It's hitting about there. Let's see. And then it's hitting about up here. Stick a little on the back of the is that see that I'm just gonna hold it for a second. But basically that's the drab to fab. I have a video on that. Uh, it really looks it really makes the Dollar Tree ones. You know, I don't know. Do I want to? I don't think these are a sunflower. You can always put some greenery down in there. I'm just going to put oops, glue on the back of the stem. I'm going to stick it underneath. Again, just be careful hot glue. Just give it a little greenery sticking out. Grab the fab. Sunflower on the front. Hoping that will stay. And then got some greenery. But this basically is, I think, going to be called done. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, you can use that tin can with that uh, wood base. I will put a piece of felt on the bottom. I'll cut a little round circle just so it won't scratch anybody's. Uh, I think that turned out cute. Probably a little too many wispies over here, uh, but maybe I'll try to fluff them out a little, but I kind of like them. I was going to put raffia in there, but I didn't. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you all for um, stopping and finding the video. Hope you made it this far. If you've made it this far, why don't you leave me a sunflower in the comments. Talk to you later.